okay, then don't. Let's see. You look beautiful. Look at you. You're trying to make me look bad. What's that about? <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Ras Adelty, for being here with me today. I do sincerely appreciate that. You look very nice. Thank you. Well, I'm trying to keep up with you. <laughs> That's all I was to say. British. Now, you got this amazing glottal stop. That's a real cockney trait. I'm also going to do that because yeah. you know Nigerians, it's a strong value. Definitely. When the child is, you know, Definitely. growing up, so they want to make sure that their kids go back there and assimilate all of knowledge, all of the culture, and then. Yeah. Is it the same for you? Done Amistad a few years earlier. I saw that school too. <laughs> Thank you. That was a Steven Spielberg movie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. No, nothing and wrong with it, but you know. And you've gone beyond that, so. I don't say beyond it because I want to be I little mean, there. In, in your understanding, in your all. mindset, you know. But in my mindset, more. it's like I really want to speak for Yeah. Like, Nigeria, Nigeria. Like, what's your favorite? What's your favorite? My favorite Nigerian food? Nigerian dish, yes. It's gotta be pounded down with goosey. Oh my goodness! Do you know I just learned how to make that? I can make it so nice now. You just learned? Okay. At this your big age. Spare me. Spare me. <laughs> cut the roll in half and gave because they thought okay I, what I was told is that they wanted more diversity within the movie they wanted okay. more African characters okay. so they cut my roll in half yeah, and um, obviously I wasn't exactly happy about that mm -hmm. I had that young arrogance even though it was really scared I was like well which yeah. goosey to cut my roll in half you know whatever <laughs> and then I kind of remember what my agent said but I just didn't think it was possible that he would just call my house number just like that right. so anyway I picked up the phone and it, it was him mm -hmm. And he was like, you know, yes, Raz, you know, I, we heard about the, you know, the schedule conflict and whatever. Right. And, you know, we want you to come out here and do this. Right. Right. So we think it'll be fantastic. Right. You'll be the main antagonist. Right. And, and it'll be great for your career. And, you know, he just goes off kind of rattling in this, you know, in the way you don't. And, I mean, you don't say no. Yeah, if Ridley really Scott calls you on the phone, I mean, you just, you know. So I was like, yeah, okay, I'll see you in like, how long's the flight? <laughs> you know. So anyway, within. You jumped on it. I remember Orlando Bloom and uh, Tom Hardy. I mean, I've. Me and Hardy were like tight. Uh, who else was out there? Josh Hartley was just starting yeah, out as well. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Jeremy Piven was in it. With David the yellow one, and uh, she would tell a joke for. For Amistad. Amistad, tell me about Manage yourself. How was it? Uh, and eat yourself. Yeah, yeah. That was fantastic. I mean, we, again, we all came up together. Now, do you all still, I mean, collaborate and, and get into some works together? You, I mean, I speak other, to them. She would tell. David the Yellow who just done, by the way, an awesome movie right now as well. Yay! <laughs> you got to say British one more time for you from Byland. They've had land since, my like, darling. <laughs> They've had land since. As a Hollywood actor, man, you would know that you're in some sort of elevated pitch among Nigerians. Do you often think about collaborating with Nigerian movies and Nigerian producers uh. and doing something? Do I? Tell me or what. have I? Have you? Do you? <laughs> very concerned with the way we were being portrayed in the, in, in the media. And obviously, I mean, a percentage of us have our own selves to blame for that. I'm not going to just say, oh, the media, media, we have to look at ourselves as well. But aside from that, it was, you know, you can't just be seeing negative, negative, negative stereotypes when it comes to Africa and Nigeria Absolutely. specifically in the media. That's the Nigeria that I like. That's the Nigeria that I like. That's the Africa. That's the spirit that I love and that touches me, yeah. that keeps me going forward. Yeah. People were questioning Barack Obama when he first was um, running for president because of his yeah. age. And he did an extraordinary you know? too. And that's just one example out of many. If you don't educate the youth, then you're going to have a whole generation of uneducated, what, leaders? Okay. To then miseducate their own children. To yeah. it's, it's a, it's a terrible cycle that you don't even want to mess with. Education. It's a key. You know? Now what would you want to be known for? 
Good question. <laughs> like my legacy? Wow. Do you know what? That's such a big question. That's what everyone that you says don't to wanna... me when I ask that question. That's such a huge question. Why don't you do much social media? <laughs> I said I was going to ask you that question today. Why don't you do Instagram? I don't think you do Facebook. I don't know about Twitter, but why? Everyone wants to be the star of their own movie. Yeah. <laughs> everyone wants to be the star of their own movie, which everyone, is fine. Everyone wants which is to fine. be relevant too. You know? Yeah, but for it's me, so, I, like I really that, don't care way. about that. I like that. Say that again. Give me that word again. My relevance is not based on how many people are following me on Twitter. Give me a high five I'll that. give you something for that. There you go. <laughs> Are you dating? Thank you so much for being here. Fantastic, thank That's you. Awesome, thank you. I'll rock you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Deuces.